which words do we start with? Or... Do we want to explain the exercise first? Uh, I think exercise uh, will have some emergent properties. We're gonna we're gonna make exercise on the slide. So the vaguely homework was to come up with twenty words that you find somehow appealing, beautiful, mm, relatable. I don't know any any sort of connectivity to whatever you are, uh, and then spit it out. And while it's happening, other people find connections to what they feel about them. And one thing that we discussed, essentially assigning some maybe balance to that. Uh, I was thinking today it could be like just uh, the unit interval or it would be uh, like five scale, minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two, or just minus one, plus one, zero. Uh, and we can completely mm, do away without that and just having quick association. I was also considering having it printed in real time because we can see it and uh, some of the, I mean, like I know that my accent and spelling could, could lead to some <laughs> misinterpretation. So just typing it in real time could be one solution and, uh, or, or just spelling. And then we can just go clockwise or counterclockwise, uh, however it is. And uh, we were thinking about 20 words. So each person finds association to each of the word in real time uh, while, while one person is uh, telling them or, or typing them. Uh, what, like, let, let's maybe consolidate what do we feel about typing versus talking and the valency versus just association. Would you say typing in the um, in the chat box? Because I'm currently on my phone because our router's de disconnected. So I don't know how easy it would be to uh -huh. just type in that way. Do you, ha do you have a laptop next to you? I do, but I didn't know if like, since this is uh -huh. being recorded, it would want to be like everywhere, like everyone can see it kind of situation. We could have one person share their screen and type as people are sharing their words. Mm. Like one person who's who's uh, who's sharing words, sharing the screen, mm -hmm. or yeah, like the scribe. So as everyone's saying their words, they would write it down in a Google Doc or something. Yeah, I can do that. Uh -huh. I for I didn't know, so I'm writing my words now. Were we supposed to prep this? My apologies. Mm. I don't think we explained the activity in the group chat, so that was our bad. That's fine. But Emma, I know you love lots of words, so. I have a lot yeah. of words. I have cat names. I have passwords. We, we're gonna All judge each other really hard for like not doing the homework and uh, <laughs> for other means that we can uh, judge. For sure. Is the, is the aim. Yep. Hi, Nima. Did you catch what we're up to? No, I was listening and trying to pick up context. Um, do you have a list of 20 words that you like? I'm guessing no. I don't think we described this in the group message. Um, a list of 20 words that we like. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I didn't even know words. that we, were, we had this going on. <laughs> the, what is this for? The exercise for the day is a word association game. And each person is going to have a list of words and then uh, I guess each of us will share a word and then others will associate words to it. And it's just sort of like a word web play. But you need some words that are, uh, what were the qualities particularly interesting? Interesting, appealing, beautiful, connective, whatever, whatever feels somehow connective to what you are, who you are at this, at this time and in place. Uh, so I, I would imagine like one could describe it through some beauty or appeal or yeah, connectivity. Uh, interest. That vague cloud of uh, feelings. Mm. Colton, I think your picture got frozen. Maybe that's just me. That's because he's not uh, he switched apps. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I had to write down my words, so I, I am still here. <laughs> Did anyone like look at words that they frequently use? You know how you can do maps where you send through a bunch of your writings and it'll tell you the frequency of words mm -hmm. that you use? Um, do you have something that's uh, user friendly for that? Not for this necessarily, but just in general. Oh, no, I was just curious. I just was going to do that and then did not think of it in time. There are like on the cloud of tag platforms where they do count. If you do like the, it builds the cloud of tag, but then it shows frequency of each word. I tested it on a few writings. It works pretty, pretty nice. So you can upload like your your text or whatever, and you'll see the frequencies. So how are we gonna start this? Are we giving some time to fit to do the all the get all the words together? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, maybe after after the whole exercise, we can make one Google Doc. I, I'm I'm planning just on on my machine, just do the tab on in Excel spreadsheet for for each person and then maybe upload it in. All right. Okay, I'm really bad at words. Just a meeting, no words. Good. You're bad at words? Yeah, my brain doesn't really live in wordland. Uh, That's it. All right, I am pasting this into the chat so that uh, I don't have to switch. Tenacity. Makes sense. I will join you. I like this. This sounds like you. Oh my gosh. So many words. What is foliage? It, it's uh, greens, herbs, and foliage? plants and things. Yeah. Okay. Foliage. But that's how it's greens. spelled. It's it's really. Oh, that's how wow. it's spelled. It's foliage. I thought it was. That's F the only word I like, guys. It's the only one I know. Is it? <laughs> I have one word. I thought I'm foliage is F O L I A G E. Not you know, that I care about the spelling. <laughs> but I pronounce it foliage and I kind of like it better that way. Okay, that's a new word. Foliage again. Or that's, that's, that's what it is. I approve of adding words. Google really doesn't like foliage. <laughs> Oh, it's a obsolete non-standard spelling, I guess. Interesting. 
You might have to use that sometime. <laughs> um, I'm going to foil your foilage. Ooh. Some garden. Oh, I was imagining it was something to do with putting foil on things. <laughs> But then we have to get into the bait of like aluminium and al uh, aluminum. <laughs> yeah, it's aubergine. Oh gosh. Coriander. And, uh, yeah, that's the one. I don't know how to get to this. Oh, here we go. Center. Oh, I have to type it all out. Crap. All right. <laughs> I, we can also do it verbally, or you can say it verbally, and as Wait. you say it, we can. Sorry, that's it. not the only one I got. Hold on. I did this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. The only reason I put it in the chat was so I wouldn't have to go back and forth between apps while while we were doing this. Um, I think we're just awesome. making some some system to emerge. It's. <laughs> We kind of butchered it, but it's uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> That's as far as I got. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the top. Okay. Oh, that makes sense that that's your list of words, T. I read that as Danica's and I was like, hmm, that looks an awful lot like T. Uh, I was reading some short passage from Borges today and realized again how words are like magic spells mm -hmm. and thought that maybe there is a, there is some kind of way to get mm, the most power out of this magic spells to get like, you know, short, little short passages because there is beauty in, in the long writing and then, then the spell emerges over time and it just mm -hmm. catches completely. But there could be some shorter form given all, all the attention span that we experience in lately as, as, as the whole system, just to get, uh, uh, like short, impactful spells from from us, and I think that that's what we do essentially, but in more uh, constructed way, sort of poetry. The, the haiku, the I don't know, the four string text that, that has some, some activity. What do you mean? Is the most. We uh, spelling now. We had a whole conversation about this already. Oh. Come again. Uh, Danica changed foliage to fo foliage. Sorry? Oh, Can did I, did I change my mind? To foliage, foliage now. It's foliage oh, now. I have, 20, now. I have 21 words. Oh, do you? Uh, okay. Like, I can see how other people's words are interesting words. And my brain doesn't work in that shape. <laughs> like a lot of these words have unusual sounds or patterns of letters. Um, but if I think of, of, of I, don't, I don't have words stored in my mind in the way of like, what are the interesting patterns of letters? So I can't like be like, I'll just recall them because they don't come, they haven't come. Like, if I read them, I'm like, oh, yeah, abyssal is, like, an interesting spelling. But, yeah. Danica, I wanted to include mer MERS and oscillate, but they they were exceeding capacity. <laughs> they didn't quite make those, the cut. <laughs> the, those were in the list. MERS, MERS was first and then oscillate. <laughs> Yeah, they were really disappointed when we kicked them off their show, but then I was like, hey, y'all come aboard, and they joined my team. 
so everybody wins in the rapture end. rapture was there too but mm -hmm. college, unfortunately. i realized i have rapture and rupture which both sound very different to me even though they're just one letter off um, unfortunately i don't know what is rupture with you like uh it's like a break open. Mm -hmm. Kind of like an eruption. Okay. Uh huh. It, it's the piercing. Mm -hmm. The piercing of a of an envelope uh, of any containing surface is a like rupture. If a new geyser breaks the surface and and shoots shoots the the hot water, that's the rupture of the geyser. Yes, or or a zit popping through your skin, or yeah. or a yeah, knife zit. going through. Yeah. Um, I love reading these because they very similar. Like it seems very similar to the other rupture, like in many ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, rupture. certainly. Go ahead, Danica. Oh, go on. I just said rupture is like a rupture of the soul. Yeah, I, I was going to say a, a rupturing of heaven, where heaven spills force onto earth, and and everyone is enraptured. Uh, just sort of a, a dual meaning of rapture. I think we lost Nima somewhere along the way. Let me see. He logged off to uh, figure out his 20 words. <laughs> oh, got it. Yeah, we put a lot of pressure real quick. <laughs> Emma, I want a painting of all of these words. Yep. Hang I'm, on, I'm, painting, I'm painting, painting some huge cathedral with those words, like transdimensional cathedral with <laughs> Abyssal, <laughs> August, and especially Petricord. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> I feel like that one's just a classic for Ma. I also. I also like the sub word I chord. It's mm -hmm. another good one. <laughs> oh, yes. My personal favorite on this list is childish chickenish and pretense <laughs> at this moment. So, Gloxenia is not too bad either. Gloxenia. Is it a, it's a type of flower? Oh. It's a type of flower. I see. And also a fairy king on the seven deadly sins uh -huh. <laughs> in a May series. <laughs> I see. It's pretty great. I'll show you a picture. Shit. Never mind. I don't have internet right now. Sorry. There's a song called Mr. Bombastic, and I think it's going to have to be one of your theme songs from now on. <laughs> well, oh, I... Huh? Uh, Gloxenias. Here, let me send a picture. Everybody. Okay. I feel like in the same way that a lot of prophets are blind, uh, like physically blind, so they can see the one without words. Uh, is useful to have. The gentleman who isn't who isn't on the chat right now. Uh, no, uh, Elliot has does not live in words enough to have them come up. I don't uh, think off the cuff. I'm like slowly picking up things, but they're not. It's not obvious that here's a list of those weird words that I keep in my head, like. What are the words that are popping in your head immediately? Uh, Poop. So, so if, I, if I say to my brain, hey brain, throw me out some weird words, I get like blankness. And then I desperately look around the room for something and nothing really like lights up. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just looking around the room for, for words or something. That's not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. I the reason why my first word is Q because I'm always looking for a Q. <laughs> There's a parable in uh, creativity research, which is uh, it's not about 
thinking outside the box, it's about choosing a box to think in. So if you go to a room of people and say, tell me a story, then a lot of them will come up blank. But if you say, tell me a story involving an elephant, a ball, and an umbrella, then uh, you'll have many more people who, who actually end up being able to produce a story on the spot. It's mm -hmm. creativity. Yes. So perhaps if we give Elliot some boundaries, it might help, but. He has to start with the letter X. Mm. It's Fedora. Like <laughs> Circling solves this the this thing at least like it feels to me like that when we when we start just with this blank and like what do you notice something pops up automatically because if you if you present like if you are not asleep if you perceive something happening and then it just uh, you could also make up sounds for us like mm. blur 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 but spell it out because <laughs> I think that that might be what you're hearing in your blankness the nebulous chasm chasm I'm making mm. words for you chasm chasm <laughs> <laughs> abyss <laughs> that's already on the list we can have doubles Ma or triples moustache <laughs> Carbuncle. Uh, lice. Lactose. <laughs> Liver worst. Horse to whinge. <laughs> Bra strap. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> Perhaps we, you should go to the Gaelic phonetics instead. That's better luck. Okay, what are we doing with these words? Just considering. Hmm. Are we are we like supposed to? Com are we just commenting on each other's stuff? Is it, I, I think or... jamming in real time now, which is <laughs> cute. <laughs> um, Cootie. <gasps> Ew, yes. <laughs> um, I don't actually know the definition, um, T of consinity. Uh, that's, that's the tricky one. It's a reconciliation of a seemingly disconnected or uh, disjointed parts uh, making or the ability of fitting mm, yeah, seemingly disjointed structure or, or concepts together. Uh, I had a, mm, I still have this tab on the phone where sometimes when I find words that are especially pleasant or somehow catching me, I put them and it doesn't happen that often, but when it happens, it also works like magic spell. I find some word and it, it just connects with me and I, I write it down and, and sometimes, sometimes recall there. Conciliatory is what it reminds me of. Mm. Are there any words in Ukrainian or another language that anyone knows that you love, but they don't really have a good translation in English? Spreads the tour is on my list. La. <laughs> the classic. La. <laughs> yeah. Zensucht in German. Uh, uh. Well, What's the word, Colton? What's the meaning of the word that uh, you put the uh, starting with S? Sprezzatura. It's uh, like effortless, uh, eff effortless capability. J just uh, the ability to do things that are difficult while making it look easy. Um, oh, that sounds like flow in my uh, inner vocabulary. Yes, I, except it's it's. Uh, also very uh, presentational. It like it's about what what the other views in you, and not necessarily what your experience is. And so it's this Italian, very Italian thing uh, about uh, being able to do things that would be difficult for other people while making it seem easy. There should be observer in this case. Yes. Okay. It it is it is a very coquettish. Uh, sort of sort of word performative ease 
Yes. I originally came up in, in the courts because uh, the courtiers wanted to one up each other and, and it was a very uh, like status based thing. Hmm. The word I just put in there is foyota, which is Gaelic for welcome. And I only put that one because it doesn't, isn't a full phrase, and I can't spell the other Gaelic phrase currently. All right, I got 10. That's enough. <gasps> yeah. It is more than that. What are we doing with these words? Um, presumably, Nima can hop in as soon as he hops in, right? Or is there some sort of set process? Is he coming back or not? I, I figured he wasn't coming back, but... I'll check in with him. Another foreign word I really like is uh, so um, in French, where uh, it is a plural form of alone. <laughs> so, so it's like alone together almost. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm. That does sound French. <laughs> Can you hear that sound? Yep. That sound, but. <laughs> hey, did you say zigzag? Yeah, Zenzucht is a German word, I think Portuguese, sim similar analog is Suedad, and there is the Welsh uh, Hiraeth, or Hiraeth, and they, they have some similarity, but they don't have reflection in English. It's something like yearning for something that didn't happen, never was, never been, mm. and it's some sort of yeah, connection to, to ineffable that you cannot express, but you have some vague feeling. And it's, I think it's, it's also connected to nostalgia. Like you, you're nostalgic for something that, that didn't happen, but, but those, the, like the nostalgia, like pretty modern word. Uh, and those, those things in German, it was, I think very uh, descriptive for, uh, um, for symbolism uh, period of like late 1800s where people were uh, maybe suffering a little bit from emerging modernity and trying to reach some, some uh, magic realms of, of something that, that didn't happen in, in the uh, imagination of, uh, I guess of the, uh, <laughs> The mythological thinking that was that was happening in culture. Uh, mm -hmm. It it reminded me of uh, Zugzwang, which is a chess term from German, <laughs> where it's uh, forcing your opponent to make a maneuver that will lead to their defeat. Uh huh. Yeah. Which is very different from from the word that you used, but they have similar phonetics. I also like when words in English have multiple words in another language and you can see that they're really meaning different things, but like having them as different words helps contextualize so that you are kind of putting them together a lot of the times. Like colors in some languages, there are more colors than in English and it's like hard to catch, uh, hard to translate this, this initial the misunderstanding how you see different colors. Uh, mm -hmm. I had this for a while with blue because mm, blue in like Slavic languages is just light blue and there is a separate word for actually blue for like blue blue <laughs> so the, the ocean blue is not blue blue is only sky and like some some lighter things and, and ocean blue would have like the particular and then the like the transition between yellow and green has separate color like it's uh, it's called like its own name so like a very young pea plant or like the uh, maybe salad the, the emergent salad leaves the, the lettuce leaves will have that color that is not like developed green 
Mm-hmm. Or like puke color, like yellow green. Puke color? Mm-hmm. That bit. one, th- th- that one is a little like it doesn't have enough yellow hues. <laughs> I wonder if that would make it easier to notice different colors if you grow up with more words for them. That is the hypothesis. They, I, I think it's Sapir Worf also pioneered the study about which colors appear first in language development. And uh, like almost universally, it's uh, green and yellow come first, or red red comes first, then like green and yellow, and then blue uh, is usually one of the last um, to appear, as is orange, because orange is rare, relatively rare in nature. Yeah, I I read that they think that red stands out to us because of blood. Like you really want to notice if someone's injured. It's pretty important information. And monochromatic co- colors are like present in all the languages, but yeah, blue with with blue, you you're right. So, some some of the languages didn't have blue, like Greeks didn't have blue in Iliad and Odyssey, and the uh, the ocean was green, I think, in, in their description. Uh, there is one relatively modern neuroscientist who did experiment on their kid up until something like six or seven years. They didn't tell them that there is blue. Uh, color and kid didn't develop sensation of blue so they didn't know that there is blue and then at some point they introduced them to, to the blue and it was this like, paradigm shift that oh there is there is another color uh, it's a proper experimentation on kids how much evil is that like is it like a little bit of evil or like a lot of evil <laughs> it's uh, like that's that's the hard question to tell because if you assign it to yourself and you think post factum like what, what i will endure in order to have some uh transformative experience like i feel that i would love to endure that because it gives some some transformation the sense of transcendence but also like how how we can how we can translate that experience on other, on other people like if if we like pain is it okay to <laughs> uh, to unleash that on them Would you like is to the problem. go ahead, Ray? Uh, would you like to uh, start us on the whatever the next item was, or the or what the the next part of was? Assuming that Nima might not show up anytime soon. Uh, so given given we just put them in the uh, in the chat, I, mm-hmm. I think there are, there are two options. We just go in uh, like sequentially and and tell our associations time, or we come up with associations in the text file and then compile them together so we can see the uh, all connections in in visual form. Uh, what what do we feel about that? Like, what's uh, we, through it. yeah? I'd say just go through it verbally, and then we can take these and then put them up on a Google Docs or something, and add the associations there. Okay, and mm-hmm. if we do that, then maybe like one who's who's forming associations, writing them in mm-hmm. real time. So then, then we'll upload this updated uh, list with. Uh, Correspondence. Yep. Um, we pick one word and, and bounce off that, or Let's start at the top. I think. Start at the top. Okay. Tenacity. Gerber baby food. Gerber baby food. <laughs> We're supposed to say the first thing that comes yeah. to our mind, right? Yeah. Uh, um, really? Uh, but not, that's, are we supposed to associate deliberately or just like other things that pop into our minds? I because assume. Not more like I an think, improv exercise. I, I, I think something that pop in, in your mind right away, like the most the most immediate, the most visceral uh, association. Like a stroke. Yeah, it's like one of those, like, yeah, yes, loop. So I got motorcycle for tenacity. 
Uh, uh, let yeah. me, uh, let, so uh, let's write each, each who's having an association write it in real time. So we'll all write in real time. Uh, oh, like type it into the chat. Uh, Is that what you're saying? I am in the, chat, in the chat. It might be confusing if you have if you have your uh, spreadsheet uh, thingy. Uh, then maybe uh, having as parallel like the uh, table with uh, as many rows and just two columns. So the first column will be uh, unified between all of us, and the second column will be your uh, personal association. I'm just um, taking it down like in a text file, and we can transfer it at some point if you want. Do you want um, attribution to these like identity? Like Gerber baby food, do you want to know that Emma put that down? Oh, uh, I think everyone will will do that. So then, uh, like, we'll generate six associates. files. Okay, I see. Oh, and, uh, I see. We'll pull them together. Also, I think next mm -hmm. time we should make this an Excel file and have our name, and then when yeah. we do like each word, I'm, I'm typing beep, an Excel beep, file right now. Like I opened Excel. Beep, file. Boop, boop. Okay. Yeah, beep, beep, boop. Boop. Beep, beep, boop. Beep, beep, boop. So, person who is making association, writing them down. Okay. And then, uh, modern stoicism. That's my association to, to tenacity. Okay, tenacity. Just to clarify, we're writing our own. Yeah. And yeah. We're gonna. Excellent. I keep getting Thank associations you. with y'all's associations, and then. Or maybe we shouldn't say anything, and then once we have it, we can all say it. Do you just want to do that, or? I I feel I, feel I like, like saying it. Talking is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. talking. We can we can build some more narrative on top of that and just. Danica, what's your association with tenacity? Now. Did you say how? Or growl. No. Growl. 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 Okay. Growl. growl. Yeah. Thank you. Growl. That was more what it was, than the actual word. Elliot. Yeah. What's the association with tenacity? Can I like request to pass on a bunch of words? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> if you could draw a blank, then that's a blank. Well, yeah, I'm looking down the, the words to come and I have like visualizations. I don't have like another word response. Oh, what's the visualization? Yeah, describe them. I, I just, tenacity is more like an internal emotional experience. So it has okay. like a, a swoosh to it. But that's ah. not a word that, that's like a word that I'm desperately trying to patch on to my internal to try and give it a yeah. Mm -hmm. Like like <laughs> adaptation makes me think of evolution and evolution and like a, a Darwinian like a bird changing and adapting its it, 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 evolutionarily, like its beak changing. And that's not something that's not a one word thing. Right. Um it, it, it could be several words. Let's not put limits on words. If you feel like stream of consciousness, there is a stream and you can just like throw the, the several words and blurbs and, 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 and growls and uh, any seemingly disjointed things. All creative outlets. Yep. And, and even color, like you can just put the color in the, in the cell. Who hasn't gone? Everyone's gone, I think, except maybe T. Uh, I, Did you do a tenacity? He said, st he said stoic modernism. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Mo mod no, 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 modern, modern stoicism. stoicism, like contemporary stoicism. Yeah. Uh, so adaptation, I have fitness. Mm. Burpa. Mm hmm You just hijacked my mind. Hi, I'm going to blurb. <laughs> Danica? For adaptation? Mm -hmm. Is it evolved? Uh-huh. And Elliot's was the bird evolving throughout time. Nice. Yes, sir. I think it's awesome. Uh, Colton, what was yours? He's. These are his words. I mean, I, 
our metamorphosis, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I think we should feed all those words in, in GPT-3 after and just, uh -huh. just see what happens. Just have a super bean of all of us. <clears throat> yes. Did you have one, you... Emma, for adaptation? I yeah, said FERPA. FERPA. Yeah. Variety? T, what was yours? Mine was blurb. 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 OK, what was the third one? Uh, the third word. The latest word is variety. I have show. <laughs> I wrote down dinner plate because the first image that popped in my head was a woman just holding these fancy decor plates that you wouldn't actually eat on, like kind of going like this. China. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Adaptation. Varicose. Mm. Hook it up. Mm. Did we get everyone? I think so. Experimentation. Humping. Is he? Oh. Michael. I missed both of those. Do you what was yours? Busy. Busy? Elliot? Psycho. Psycho. Eternity. Did we hear everybody's? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Next is full. Wise. Mm -hmm. Fluid. Uh, Do you have one for fool, Emma? I have a lot of things going through my head, but I guess I just have a picture of the little umbrella hat or the hat with the little spinning <laughs> helicopter on oh, it. Oh, nice. Helicopter hat. I yeah. think this practice of uh, like the circling thingy, like when, when you just like imagine what's, what's up seems seems appropriate for, for this task. Like when, when you're just like, said, there is a lot of images spinning in my head. <laughs> in yeah. head that's, yeah. Paint your mind on the, on the like, spreadsheet. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. And he's, he's okay. me. A couple of words. Like I, I don't think we, we need limitation on that. I like that. Clown. That's the next one. Mm -hmm. Acceptance. Mm. I have two. Like a clown being used as a tool.
D, did you have one? Oops. Oops. Mm -hmm. I had a sarcastic reaction, like, oh, what, what was that noise? That was, that's what went through my head. Like, someone like, what, what, what? Yeah. And I don't know who. Oh, you should try to write down every sound you just made. Oh, what, what, what was the noise? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think I got it, but whatever. Oh, thanks. What was it, Elliot? Face paint. Mm -hmm. mm. Liminal is the next word. Foghorn. I, do you say foghorn? Mm -hmm. I have gold. Gold? Mm -hmm. Phase transition. I'm going to go with lemon. Lemon. <laughs> I would like to eat some liminal lemons. Mm. Our next word is crossroads. I have silk. Canvas. Who? Was it? Canvas. Canvas. Strategy. I'm imagining like a really cheesy early 2000s country song. And there's like a gust of dry, <laughs> like really low rise jeans with a huge belt. Two parties and girl I ever did see on the crossroads to the bar. Her name <laughs> is Whitney. She had a cleft lip and she sang real nice, but she stole my money and killed my wife. There you go. <laughs> just, just for you. I'm impressed. <laughs> Crossroads. I, know about that. I think we should like no words from you, only songs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not hard. Well, that would be stop. I see. I like the song better. <laughs> Platinum. Our next word is phenomenon. Cornbread. Dear German guy. I have qualia. After this. I recently listened to how Daniel Bennett was shitting over uh, qualia concepts like from his high nest just all over <laughs> with with such impeccable um, snobbishness of a uh, you know modern uh, <laughs> Socrates <laughs> it was uh, most pleasant and painful to listen <laughs> he said that everyone who's who's even conceiving the concept of qualia as anything serious is just full of shit and, and a fool and a, does not like. Second word association. If somebody says a word that's on this list, it has to be secondarily add. You just said fool. Therefore qualia is now a 10 to fool. Just saying. Can I add a plus next to it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> should be taking notes in Rome. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that is what we should be doing. But then Rome started charging a bunch. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you registered before the paywall, you still can do for you can use it for free. Really? I, yeah. I thought it was only a I, month. I was able to use it like yesterday or two days ago. Hmm. For 
free. I use Emacs Roam anyway, so it's it's still free. Mm -hmm. I switched to Obsidian, which I guess you could probably sort of run online by sharing a folder. Dropbox Obsidian? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or Drive. Or Google Drive or mm -hmm. Microsoft 360. Exactly. Sprezzatura. Panties. Klein panties. <laughs> I'm imagining a guy with impeccable long hair in a leather jacket <laughs> with sunglasses walking down a cobbled street. Uh, <laughs> sunglasses should be Ray Ban Predator, like 90s. Uh -huh. 90s. <laughs> and he's giving me an up, upward head nod. A, a chin lift, as it were, while flicking a cigarette butt away. Wearing panties. Give you, is he wearing panties? Yes. This guy is. He's also, that made my word grease, because he's super greased up. He's just like mm -hmm. dripping oil. Makes me think of the Japanese greasers with like the bouffants two feet in front of their heads. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How do they get that to happen? Teasing and hairspray and pomade. Mm. We could grow your hair out. We could do it. It seems like a lot of work. Did we get everyone's word? For a spreadsheet tour? Mm-hmm. Uh, tea? Fine bottle. Oh, okay. Elliot, did you have anything? Uh, for Sprezzatura? Mm-hmm. Megaphone. Nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Our next word is triumph. Cockroach. <laughs> I have an image of a, like, topless somewhat fit guy like a like a statue of that guy with an olive wreath on his head and Luigi's hair <laughs> I see the uh, pompous British mod like from 60s with uh, Doc Martens and like the Ripped uh, what's the British flag on the back. I got Richard Kipling's if poem, the line where he says, If you can treat like triumph and loss the same, except that's not the word, but that's what came to my mind. Yeah. Winning and loss, just the same. Yeah. Mm. Are we on to the next one, or has anyone waiting? Elliot, did you go? No. Struggling with the like getting a word onto that thing. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, What's your first feeling about Triumph? Well, so I had the the like very vague visuals of like being people like like shadow figures being victorious, and then I just then switched to like, what about that audio? Like. Doo -doo -doo! But I don't know how to put that into words either. <laughs> uh, I think to do beautiful words. Like to put it like that. D -O -O. Do. <laughs> do. <laughs> T U D T U T U. 
just do the trumpet emoji with a couple music note emoji. <laughs> okay, trumpet. We should have audio clips in this spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah, an interactive spreadsheet. It's very hard to search, but it's very interactive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like hypercard all over again. <laughs> I'm also uh, aware of the time. I need to get going in about 10 minutes. Okay. Um, we can end then uh, and continue this through the spreadsheets. <laughs> Um, next week, yep. you're doing emotion work around the same time? Ah, yeah, or that's at fine. our usual time. That's fine. Uh, would it be similar? Do we need any homework? Would it be similar to circling but focusing on particular emotion? Uh, no homework. Show up with what you got. So, are we supposed to fill out all these words really quick and do our word associations? by ourselves and then send them to a group or what? Yeah, otherwise you'll get C minus. Yeah, or alternatively, we can that. just create a, um, a Google Sheets, I guess, and then fill them out ourselves if you're, if that works for you, T. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I like Google Sheets. Google Sheets on each tab fill in like each person's associations and I think we can then align them all together in, in one. Mm. Would you be able to set it up? Uh, yeah, I'll set up, uh, send me all the files and I'll set up the Google uh, doc, open open Google doc or. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, you can, if you Ideally, do just one, if you just do like one tab with your stuff, um, in the Google Docs, then we can just follow that format for the rest of ours. Okay, okay. So I'll, I'll fill mine, create the doc, and then send you the uh, link. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, mm. we do one last word. Yes. What? Shall we do? Uh, let's do, I guess the next one is synchrony. So synchrony. synchrony. Our last word. Upgrade. Next level. I see a giant parade from like a bird's eye view. Um, and then the words joint attention flashing over the, the parade. Now I'm imagining a parade and just a whoosh of crescendo. But like different instruments playing very different rhythms and connecting. I'm influenced by the actions of the next two and a half to three minutes. So now mine is a somber salmon. <laughs> um, just swimming through a really small creek. So, yeah. But that is, of course, influenced by external forces. So. As we are all. Uh, no. Fun ways life. Only you. Yeah, I'm unique. Duh. All my feelings are special, and no one's ever felt what I felt before. Somber That's salmon. That's None the of us have salmon. felt somber salmon. <laughs> We're just the tiny little tadpoles swimming up next to you. Sucking on the dick of the ocean floor. Mm. Salty. Sandy. Well, crabby. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, thank you all for coming today. <gasps> sea anemones are like little dicks. Anyway. A whole forest yes, of dicks. They're a little forest <laughs> of dicks. It's they're cool. also like barnacles, I think, in that they have like very, very long dicks for what they are. Right. Constantly Mostly flaccid, but super buoyant. And also mm. it calls like stinging. Mm. They're like lightning rods.
lightning rod stinging flaccid dick 